What's up everyone? This is Sand Select 91 back with a new let's play for you all. Let's play Tales of Symphonia. Like many people, this is the first ever game in the series to get me introduced to the series itself. And of course, I had, my brother actually had this on the GameCube. So I tend to play with him. And yes, this is a a pseudo multiplayer RPG, although it's not online. Um, but we'll get into that a bit later, so let us do a new game. Uh, yes, let's do that. The skits contain a variety of fun conversation between the characters and offer hints about the game. We select title display on if you want to see the titles of the skits. It can be triggered by pressing the select button. Uh, battle controls. All can. We'll do. Semi auto. And of course, vibration on. Let's begin. Yay! Here's a gift for you. I think this is free, uh, free DLC if you go on the network, so. Once upon a time, there existed a giant tree that was the source of mana. A war, however, caused this tree to wither away, and a hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place. Grieving over the loss, the goddess disappeared unto the heavens. The goddess left the angels with this edict. You must wake me, for if I should sleep, the world shall be destroyed. The angels bore the Chosen One, who headed towards the tower that reached up unto the heavens. And that marked the beginning of the regeneration. Lloyd Irving, wake up! Lloyd! Ah! 
How do you manage to sleep standing? Oh, Professor Rain, it, is class over? <sighs> Never mind. Let's have someone else answer the question. Genus, how about you? Yes, Rain. Mythos the hero brought about the end of the ancient war in the holy ground of Carlon. Correct. Afterwards, Mythos the hero formed a pact with the goddess Martel to seal away the Desions whom caused the war. But the Desions came back and are now causing everyone to suffer. We covered that in class last time, remember? When the seal weakens, the Desions reappear, just like they have now. I... Uh, yeah, I knew that. I, I just forgot. Today is the day of prophecy. It is a very important day, which the Chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess Martel. Now Chosen One, Colette. Yes, ma'am? Tell us about the journey of world regeneration. It is a journey to seal the Desions. Upon passing the trials of the goddess Martel, the summoned spirits that protect the world awaken, and mana is restored. Correct. I suppose we should expect the Chosen herself to know the answer to that one. Mana depletion is the cause of the current food shortages and droughts. It is said that this occurs because the Desions consume vast amounts of mana in their human ranches. The Chosen's journey has two purposes. To revive mana, as well as defeat the Desions. Now, for the next question. Uh, what was that? That's... Settle down. It would seem that the time for the Oracle has come. I will go and check on the chapel. Everyone stay here and study on your own. Understood? Professor! I'll go with you. No, Colette. If it is the Oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Yes, ma'am. So begins our little journey. I wonder if that light had something to do with the Oracle. Okay, let's get into the menus. Tech, which is short for techniques, lists all the techniques that your selected character can do. The only character we have right now is Lloyd. Lloyd Irving, to be exact. That's his name, that's his profile, that's all of his stats, and all the things he has equipped. Now, something unique to the Tales series there exists things known as titles. Titles can change how your character will operate, including increasing certain attributes or even changing how they look. Like so. This is a title that will change your costume. Other than that, it doesn't do anything else for you. But I'll just stick with the swordsman for right now. I won't be getting every title considering that will take me like Probably five to seven playthroughs to get them all. And trust me, this is a very long game. Let's go through the rest of these. Items is obvious enough. Uh, you attack, we'll have to get into later as well for EX skill. Strat, or short for strategy, basically tells the characters how to act. Whether you want them to be, you know, computer operated or whatever. Speaking of which. We want him to be manual, considering we're going to be controlling Lloyd throughout a good portion of the game, probably about 75%. Equip shows off all your equipment. The only thing that gets displayed differently is your weapons. Otherwise, nothing really shows up on the field. Status you already know about. Cooking! You can cook in the field. Depending on what ingredients you have, you'll be able to cook several different dishes. And also, you'll find throughout the world that there are people who will teach you different recipes. Synopsis gives you a, a uh, gives you a rundown of what's happened so far in the story and brings you up to speed. So basically if you lost track of where you are, look at the synopsis, look at the, the latest article or title and that will, find, that will help you find where you are. System, this is where you customize your windows, basically how the 
uh, battle system works, but mainly it's just for your basic options. You can even change the voices if you wish. One thing you'll notice right away is uh, Lloyd's voice. He's voiced by Scott Menville, also known as best known for being Robin in Teen Titans and unfortunately Teen Titans Go. Ugh. I don't know why people watch that crap. Hey, Genus! Yes, of course. Yeah, let's get moving. Damn kids, get out of my way. How'd this all get here? Let's get out of here. I will be trying to have the spoken dialogue be just a, just the audio and not me talking over it, so I'm being trying to be courteous with that. Having you hear the voice acting. Much how I did with Muramasa. So let's find out for ourselves. And yes, Rain is Genus' sister. Despite the fact that Rain looks like she's a good 10 or 15 years older than him. It's research. Hey, it's, it's an excuse, isn't it? Exactly, don't be so damn stuffy. Really, Colette, that's all you gotta say. Yeah, she's a bit of a bubblehead. <laughs> Let's find out what's happening at that temple. Don't depend on what others walk on your own two legs. You're gonna be hearing a lot of those dwarven vows over the course of the game. Colette and Genus join the party. When select appears on the left edge of the screen. Press select to trigger a skit. Contain hints about where to go next and have a lot of fun chats between the characters. Yeah, that's what happened when Colette. <laughs> You klutz! And she gets the title of klutz! Yes, there are several weird and very strange ways to get titles in this game. And it increases her HP, strength, and accuracy, so it's not... It's not a bad title for right now. And I believe that will change Genus' costume, so... We'll change the display to show up Genus, and he'll be just up like that. I believe that's from Tales of the Abyss. I'm not too sure. I've only played two of the games, uh, this and Tales of Vesperia. I've beaten them both, thankfully. Okay, so Lloyd is your basic swordsman. He's gonna be on the front lines a lot, he's gonna have a lot of HP, and he does quite a Quite a good amount of damage with his swords. Genius is your basic black mage. Uses magic from afar. Specializes in a lot of uh, TP usage, which means uh, technique points. And Colette is your ranged fighter. She has chakrams that she throws around. And she gets some abilities later on, which allow her to throw a little bit of magic around the field. Too quiet. What do you want, Frank? Get out of here. You must be your dad. Don't tell him where we're going. He's gonna stop us. Yeah, the designs are kind of assholes. So, we don't fuck with you if you don't fuck with our stuff. Okay, that's that's just the greatest treaty ever created. That's smart.
Too bad, we're going. Ain't no one gonna stop us. Don't tell me what to do, Frank. Yeah, don't you try. Go home. Go home, Frank. Town of the village of Isalia. I kind of noticed that all the all the na all the names of the games kind of end with an E out, except for like maybe Tales of the Abyss and then maybe a couple of others. But for the most part, it ends with an E out, like Symphonia, Vesperia, all that. Anyway, this is an e God talking today. This is an example of a skit. Unfortunately, there is no spoken dialogue, so it's just the uh, t the text box down there and the characters reacting. They do talk in uh, Tales of Vesperia, so I don't exactly know when they changed it to where they actually talk during the skit skits. But it's obviously not here. And this is a save point. Memory circle, save point, same shit. Let's check around first. Screw it. We're going. Oh, that's a bouncing skull, and it's huge. Of course. Let's kill it! So that I can explain the battle mechanics. You're going down! Okay, holding R1 will allow you to change which target you want to attack. Left and right, like you can go left and right. Holding down circle. Excuse me, God. I wish I could change my options right here because. Well, by default, X is attack, and square is defend, and circle is to use techniques. In the end of the battle, the person who struck the final blow will do a little uh, animation. Depending on how much HP they have, if they're low, they'll say that they're, you know, hurt and such. I'm just awesome like that. Oh, the X-Sphere. It's kind of neat. We mean at least. Exactly. Oh, don't want to get ambushed again. More effective than physical attacks on non physical and spiritual monsters. Zombie is mine! Yes, I already explained that. Shut up. I already know. I already told them how to switch. Alright, let's. And for the most part, you want to chain your attacks together. So at the end of a combo, you want to throw a technique right in there. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. All talk, no action. Don't act so smug, genus. Of course, you don't want to leave someone on the battlefield. You have to drag them all the way to the save point. Let's go! First, I want to change my options here. Uh, battle controls. I like that to be defend and that to be techniques. I'm trying to have it be more like the uh, GameCube controller because the GameCube controller had A, B, regular attack, B, B, your techniques, and X was your defense, and Y was your menu. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the menu. During battle, you can use items, but once you use an item, there is a timer on said item. Which means you cannot spam any kind of healing items right after another. What's the temple like? This is it like every other temple? So it's more of a cave than a temple. 
or a dungeon. I'm so excited. Watch it, genus. Your name rhymes with a male body part. You have no right to speak. Anyway, in the field, you notice there are two... two black, uh... enemy body The smaller of the two is the easier of the, the easier of my enemies. He's so full of himself. So the larger... larger of the enemies will give you the harder enemies. Really helps out if you want to train up a bit. Also, the way you earn more techniques is basically just by using them. I believe you get another technique after using the first at least 50 times. And yes, 50 times. Didn't play it from over here. And some bees! And depending on how you angle the stick whilst you're attacking, just as I expected. Your attack animation will actually change. Just gonna run around here for a little bit. Get the big guys in. And also, you'll get, you'll get more techniques as you level up. Keep an eye on your TP so you don't want to run out. Because once you do, you can't do any more arts or techniques. I think arts is a whole different thing. Into the temple we go, then. that thing going, it's gonna blind someone. Exactly! She's starting to look at it too much. What, this klutz? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh hell. He's dead. Yeah, we're on it. Well, bastard never stood a chance. Well, the way he... The way he probably got stabbed and the fact that he's already old as hell, I'm pretty sure he was on death's door, regardless. Uh, what the hell do you think we're just fighting? No, we're, those weren't the science. Just animals. Yeah, there's no way in hell she's going by herself. And to be honest, the choices you make with the... with the selections doesn't really add up to much, if anything. Just gets slightly different dialogue. Wonder how far she's in. Let's go! Revenge for the old man! the Chosen.
Lord Boda, there she is. Chosen one, your life is mine. I won't let you Desians get away with anything! Desians? <laughs> What's so funny? Well then, die at the hands of the Desians you so hate. Get them! Time for some foot soldier assault. And he's stabbing me in the nipple. And also, if you push back whilst holding circle, you will jump back. Kind of obvious there. Ah, apple gels. Bas your basic healing item of the day. Oh, and by the way, you can only hold up to 20 damage items. What? You ain't doing so good. Ooh, right to the back too, nice one. Just as I expected. Sandwich. Do not get in our way. Oh, first first boss enemy. Don't even try. Have the reverb effect. This guy's strong. Man, this guy is really tough. Who are you? Get out of the way. Oh, well, looks like we got ourselves a new party member. He looks Don't badass. Crit damage! You'll see that quite often. There are some attacks that'll knock you on your ass and blow you away, so be careful and just watch out for those. That is no matter what. Genus, get out of here! You're not a physical fighter. The big fireball right in his face. And this should not be in trouble. Ow. He broke it out of my sorry head. And whilst you're flying through the air, you can press circle to get yourself resituated. You showed off a bit too much. Can't believe I lost to a bunch of kids. And don't come back. Combo newbie. I got myself a sandwich. I never thought you'd show up. Damn. Retreat for now. Amazing. This guy's incredibly strong. Yeah, I, I suppose so. Is everyone all right? Hmm. No one seems to be hurt. Is that an X-Fear? How can I ever thank you for saving the Chosen? I see. So this girl is the next Chosen. That's right. I have to go accept the Oracle. Grandmother, I'm going to undergo the trial now. What trial? The monsters, I assume. An evil presence radiates from inside this chapel. Yes, that is correct. The Chosen is to receive judgment from heaven. But the priests that were to accompany her fell at the hands of the Desions. Then I'll take on the job of protecting Colette. Lloyd, I would be uneasy with just you. Your name is Lloyd? Yeah, 
But who are you to ask for my name? I am Kratos, a mercenary. As long as you can pay me, I'll accept the job of guarding the Chosen. Under the circumstances, I have little choice. Please be of service. It's a deal, then. Wait, I'm going too. Lloyd, you'll only get in the way. Be a good boy and wait here. What did you say? Did I not make myself clear? You're a burden. Go home. Um, Mr. Kratos? Would it be okay to take Lloyd along too? But... Please. I get nervous when Lloyd's not around. Do as you wish. Let's go, Genus. What? I'm going too? Of course. This isn't a field trip, you know. Thanks, Colette. It's the truth. Somehow I expected a hell of a lot more uh, candles and evil chanting. No way, that'd be a cult, not a not a holy temple, genius. Hell yeah, I'm that good. What the hell is this? I don't need your goddamn tutorials. Get out of here. Training manual, I don't need you. Okay, now where the hell is a save point? Okay, it's nowhere in here, so let's see if we can leave. I'm gonna just go outside and, uh, save my game. No one even knows that I left. So, thankfully you can save anywhere in the overworld just like you can in just about every other fantasy RPG. I think I'm gonna do a little leveling up around, like, to level 5 or 6, just so my guys are a little bit more prepared. Because, uh, Colette got the shit knocked out of her. And if I didn't heal her, she probably would have died. So, I'm gonna stop right here, and next time in Let's Play Tales of Symphonia, we'll go back inside the temple and, uh, see what awaits us inside. Will it be monsters? Will it be rain? Will it be unholy abominations? Probably all three. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!